Good day and welcome to another edition of Outside of Genie, where we will be looking at the race meeting from the Western Cape, uh, and it is on the Durban Durbanville track. Uh, yeah, we haven't raced on the Durbanville Durbanville track for quite a, a long time, so sometimes one needs to be careful. But I do see at uh, Durbanville today we have eight race cards starting at thirteen twenty. That relatively there's some small fields and. Uh, yeah, they look some, there's a, a lot of horses are short in price. And uh, yeah, one is, you know, must always be careful. But, um, you know, as we work on form, if the horse has got a form, the horse has got a form. So yeah, I also do see that Andre Nala has got a couple of numbers. It looks like he might have a good day. So he might be the trainer to follow for the day. So we kick off the first race here with a maiden plate over 1400 meters. Let's have a look at the betting where we have a short favorite in number one picture at the moment, 13 to 20. Futura's opening 8 to 10. West Coast Pilots 7 to 2. The Divergent 14 to 1, 25 to 1. Mr. Mainstay, Global Tiger 33 to 1, 40 to 1, and longer the rest. Now here we have number one picture at the moment. Obviously, it's going to be my second, my selection as well. I have given picture at the moment in both his last two races as uh, value bets. And uh, he, um, now today he finds himself at Durbanville, where he has raced three times before. My only concern is that. Uh, you know, he never even run a place there. But on the other hand, I must also say that he only started improving recently. So he might have taken a bit of time to find his feet. Now, in this uh, small field, I've only got one outside selection. That's number five, Divergent. This horse must surely be a bit of a disappointment to its owners because it is a son of Franklin. And unfortunately, the horse had to be gelded um, to see if he improves. Uh, so he had one run after the gelding, which was actually not a very good uh, uh, run. He jumped at 40 to two, uh, 44 to 1, whereby behind Legislate, he jumped at five to uh, 9 to 2. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that Justin Snape and Richard Fourier are looking for improvement on this horse. So he's not really an outsider divergent. He is like 14 to 1 in the betting. So he's a bit of an outsider. But yeah, maybe to run a place, I can't see him um, winning this race. Uh, but do include in all your bets. And then my other, uh, um, then I also want to uh, um, mention number three, West Coast Pirate. Uh, I think the 1400 meters will suit his horse. His horse ran on a little bit last time out. Um, I just want to point out that I did say in one of my earlier, um, a, a week or two ago, I did mention that the, the, the 400 to four finish times at in the Cape for me is much slower than uh, inland. In, you know, like even in KwaZulu Natal and Gauteng, I don't know if it's about the tracks or what, but you know, in Gauteng, if you run at, at 24 to uh, 400 to finish under 24 seconds, that is relatively okay. But yeah, I see you've got like 27.1, which is the fastest, 25.6, which is the fastest. But anyway, this, but it does prove that the horse do run on. And I think this horse number three, Westcott Pirate, might be better over the 1400 meters. So let's move on to race number two. Here we have a merit at 94 handicap over 1250. Also a small field, only six runners. And here my, uh, the betting is as follows. Number three, Joseph Barry, three to one. His choice, two, three to one. Hyde Park 33 to 10, 4 to 1, Bernie, photocopy 9 to 2, 10 to 1, number 5, all lit up. So here we have a B Division 90. Now my selection is number 1, photocopy. Now if you have a look at photocopy, course and distance, 8, three, uh, eight runs, 3 wins, 3 seconds and a 4th. Surely number 1, photocopy, do like this um, course, hasn't won for over a year, but if you have a look here, we, we see this is a B Division 90. There's also run in 101s behind Dr. the Orange in Greyville, um, in Pinkerton 92 and 80, uh, 88, 91, 107, two links behind Silver Operator, uh, 96 and a 96. So surely this horse is way, uh, is a little bit down in class, not way down in class, but is a little bit down in class and photocopy, I think, horse that you're not, you can't discard. He do come up against some of, uh, upcoming three-year-olds. Here we have number two, Hyde Park. Hyde Park has been gelded after his last run, and I'm, I would have think that they expect this horse to improve after the gelding. Did won two of his first three races and then run against Seeking the Stars. 
uh, in a small future and then uh, got run out of it, you know, four lengths behind, which your oyster over the 1200 meters, now going to 1250. Then um, also have a look at number six. Number six is Bernie. Bernie is a horse, it's six year old, um, also course and distance, four runs, two seconds. It's a horse who's always there and thereabouts and certainly need to be included into your play. Then we move on to race number three, um, which is a maiden plate for Philly Samir's 1800 meters. Let's have a look at the betting. Number one, Rose Princess, 19 to 20, 28 to 10, Swazi Queen, 5 to 2, Respectable Mess, 13 to 2, Shades of Red, Love No 10 to 1, 50 to 1, number 7, and Scratch number 6. So here I am going for the favorite, the Andre Nell horse, Rose Princess. This horse is very well bred. Rose Tips has thrown quite a number of good horses, and I'm sure today over this 1800 meters will, su will, will suit Rose Princess down to the ground. Then for um, uh, outside of selection, I'm going for uh, the stable companion here, number um, number seven, Silver Steps. This is a Silvana out of a lizard uh, land. Um, uh, lizard land. Now this horse has only run over the twelve hundred and a, a, a thousand meters, which I think is far too short for this horse. And maybe Silver Steps today over the eighteen hundred meters will be another kettle of fish. Number six, Port Adelaide is a scratching in this race. I forgot to mention. Yeah, then there is other horses of chances. Number three, Swazi Queen did run on last time out behind Zeta Zones, third faster to four, and even managed to get under 25 seconds, which is good. And I think this might be the biggest danger to the favorite number one, uh, Rose Princess. So then we move on to race number four, which is a, a social, distancing, social distancing maiden plate over 2,400 meters. And let's have a look at the betting. Here the betting is as follows. Number seven, Tales of Us. Another uh, Andre Nell in May 12 to 10. On your marks, 9 to 2. Magnum Fire, 5 to 1. 11 to 2. Super Duke, Double Agent, 8 to 1. The Summons, 12 to 1. No more Mr. Nice Guy, 20 to 1. And 28 to 1. Fly over. Now here in race number four, my selection is not the favorite, but it's number one, Magnum Fire. This is a dynasty by Silvano May. This horse is crying out for this distance. That run well over the 2000 last time out and also uh, on um, over the 1800 was second fastest 400 to finish. And I think this horse is ready today to uh, give Corey Linsley the win that he needs here and has been eluded him for quite a while now. I think he's been in a cape now for a year. He hasn't um, had a winner yet. And I think this horse is going to be hard to beat. Um, my outsider selections in this race, let me give that to you first. It's number five, Super Duke, a Duke of Marmalade, Jeff Woodruff by Western Wintermere. Also, a, a horse that will really enjoy this distance. Um, it looks like the Jeff Woodruff stable is finding its feet now here in Cape Town. He's got a number of runners today, and maybe you should just keep an eye out on them. Then here we have number eight, my other outsider selection, the Summons, a four-year-old filly, already had 12 runs, had a couple of places, uh, but it's also uh, has some nice runs over the 2,400 meters behind six yield giant and in God, and surely can be a factor in this race. Here the favorite is number seven, Tales of Us, has done nothing wrong, surely also a big a chance in this race, also a dynasty by restructure me, also suited to this distance and can also be a factor in this race. So surely a bit of an open maiden play that we have here, I think tells of us not a, a, a definite winner. Then we move to race number five of, uh, of, uh, over the 1600 meters, merit rate at 76 handicap. And let's have a look at the betting here. Here the betting is number two, Kariba all two to one, Iris Tractor 22 to 10, and Antidote 6 to 1, the combo 13 to 2, 7 to 1, Distant, 14 to 1, Maximum, 18 top rank, and 22 to 1, Shangon. So here in race number five, uh, my first selection is number two, Kariba all. Uh, Kariba all is a horse that um, has had a couple of good runs. And uh, it's running dead and dead about, running against some decent opposition. We're running here in race five in the C Division 75. This also has already competed in the B Division 83. Uh, just got beaten by 0.2 by Norton Song, which also looks a useful individual. And then last time against Dubai Lights, also in a higher division, running third behind Dubai Lights, a handy, 
uh, lack extra. But I think in this small field today, she really have, must have a huge chance. And for outsider selections, I'm going for number one, which is the stable companion, Grant for Nikak in a board. Destin is also a horse that has run a year and year against some stiffer opposition than its meeting here today in Point Arctic Drift and Triple Jet. Um, so, uh, uh, and Destin also has got uh, this course and distance of this course, six runs, two wins, and a third course and distance, three, one, three runs, one win, and one second. So, he do favor this course as well. So, number one, Destin, not to be discarded, do include in all of your bets. And my other outsider selection is number six, Maximus. Maximus is, is, is still a young uh, three-year-old business get rich. Only had five runs, did win its second race here in Gauteng, and then moved down to the Cape, where it might have taken a bit of time to uh, find his feet, but did, did, did run uh, two reasonable races. And I think number six, Maximus, ready to improve, do include in all of your play. Then we can also look at number three. Irish Tractor has run a nice race behind Warrior. He's a couple of form uh, in this race. And as you can see, did actually beat Norton Song, which in turn beat the favorite. So that brings those two together Irish Tractor and number two, uh, Desach um, Kariba Hall. So we move on to race number six. Race number six, we have uh, number four, all about L, 16 to 10, Master of Power, 4 to 1, Moonrock, 9 to 2, Power Get, 13 to 2, Ford Red, 8 to 1, 9 to 1, Lines of Power, and 13 to 1, Dollar Brand. So here at race number six, <clears throat> we have uh, Merit Rated 80, 80 Handicap over 12.50, Class C, Average Merit Rated 77. And here my first selection in race number six is number two, which is um, power grid. Now you might be thinking this guy is off his rockets, the, you know, tipping a seven-year-old. But power, power grill has got four, forty-seven runs, five wins, and um, he has run on this course for a number of places. Hasn't got a win yet. <clears throat> but if you go and have a look at the quality of horses that power grid has raised against, you know, Pinkerton, being by Nash, Pinkerton, El Braga. Uh, you'll see that he's run against a much stiffer opposition. He's now running in a C Division 77. The last time he ran in a C Division was in August 20, where he ran eight legs behind Moon Rock. But I think Bjarne Grip today um, might surprise Sundry and all. So for me, a definite inclusion in all of your bets. Then my outsider selections here is number outsider selection here is number five, Ford Red. Richard for re on board. It's not the, uh, you know, if you can have a look, you'll see that he's only written six times for Stewart for two wins and two seconds. Uh, so whenever he gets on a horse for, for Stewart, you must know that they, they mean business. And so number five, four, Red, win through in all of your uh, play. Last time out, I think over the 1200, uh, over the 2000 and the 1400, he's too full. Uh, he's too far. So this elusive forward now back over the 1250 and certainly can be a factor in this race not to be left out. And also, yes, number four, all about Al, who won his first race quite convincingly, not convincingly, but won nicely, ran on well. But if you can see there again, the 26.2, which is the fastest 400 to finish and Marcus on board. So certainly you must have a chance. Also, this horse number three, Moon Rock, always a horse that's, that likes to go to the front. And sometimes they find it difficult to peg him back. So also do include in all of your play. So when we move on to race number 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 seven, a thousand meters, Phyllis Amir's 86 handicap. So here we have number seven, race seven, number five, social butterfly, 14 to 10, Caribbean sunset, five to one. Brianna, 92, Voice Notes, 11 to 2, Greenlight Girl, 6 to 1, on Captain's side, 12 to 1, Mar Black, 11 to 1, Dirty Nelly, 22 to 10. So here in, here in this race, I'm going for the favorite, which is number five, Social Butterfly. This horse has been knocking on the door, running against some useful opposition. Here ran behind Kitty Cat Chat. Kitty Cat Chat was placed in the future, then ran a Oh, what a girl. I think, oh, what a girl. Also a nice sword. So surely uh, this horse has run against some decent opposition. Definitely inclusion. Then um, my other outsider selections is number one, 
which is Green Life Gal. Green Life Gal coming off a little bit of a rest with that, 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 that it might, might have done a good, do show some pace, has won two out of four before her last bad race over the 1400 meters. Now back over the thousand, which I think that will suit her better. So watch out for number one, Green Light Girl. Also, my other outsider selection is number three on Captain's side. Now, on Captain's side, has run the score six runs, two wins. And I think on Captain's side, also has run against some decent opposition years here, 89, beyond Roland Day. Roland Day went to the Eastern Cape to one of future the Drama Queen, Hello Winter, Hello was placed in future races uh, during the course of the, the Cape season. So also did the form behind Kitty Cat Chat. So I think on Captain's side, definitely inclusion in all of your, your quartet trifectas and, and so forth. So, um, and then also when I have a look at number six, number six has a, a, a one easily three and a half length start to finish in her debut. Um, one is not, I'm not just certain about the quality of the field. I'm not sure about that. But definitely, uh, based on that, needs to be included in your in work in also all of your play. Uh, another horse that one can maybe include in your back end of your quartet is Mar Black. Mar Black won her second race, very really nice, beating a good sword right in your market, who has won again. And if you can see here, uh, this was two out of twelve. One has one out of ten, two out of twelve. So definitely, um, also they have to form behind Kitty Cat Chat. So maybe Mar Black a nice horse to include. <laughs> in the back end of your quartets. We then move to the last race, which is a maiden plate over 1,400 meters. Let's have a look here at the betting. The betting here, number one, three to one, Adaria, Golden Dove, three to one, nine to two, Razzle Dazzle, them, them M, Cat to Ryu, 11 to two, Imperial Ballet, nine to one, 14 to one, Jet Leaks, 15 to one, Casa Rosada, 15 to one, and better the race scratch, number 11. Now, in this race, my first selection is number 10, which is the first timer. Uh, this horse is very well bred. Razzle Dazzle Rose uh, has thrown a couple of winners, was a good horse herself. And I'm thinking um, the only thing that can maybe uh, count against this horse is the draw, but I'm sure um, Grand Fidica can overcome that. Um, you know, they're not a very strong field. Um, for outsider selections, you can look at number three. Imperial Bullet has run a couple of places. Um, I don't know what happened in this last start, but maybe it was a little bit too far. Now back over the 1400 meters where it has been placed before. Then my other outsider selection is number eight, which is Cape Tiriu. Has also run a number of places, nicely draw one. And I think you might want to play the exact eight and 10. So um, this brings us to the end of our preview for today, Durbanville race course. I hope I could point you in the right direction uh, for a few winners. And as I always say, break a leg.